sa Mall of Asia Arena, Arwin Santos and the rest of the Petron Blaze Boosters uh, hoping to score a sweep, especially that they have a Kraken in their fold. Eh, gusto nila lang tapusin itong uh, Barako Bull Energy Colas. But of course, Barako Bull, a very proud team with a lot of proud veterans. Veterans, katulad nila Dorian uh, Peña, you know, guys like uh, Denok Miranda, mga veterano with so much to prove. Uh, most of them against a former team. And that's why bigatin ang banggaan here in Game 2 of this Best of 3 quarterfinal series. Magandang gabi po, Miko Alili kasama. See si Jason Webb and you know I think I think there are more people who believe na tatapusin na to ng Petron tonight. Why is that so? Well, you know that because when you look at Petron, they've been a dominant team all throughout the conference. But when you look at their head-to-head, two to one lang in favor of Petron. Then uh, Barako Bull actually beat Petron in the eliminations. And in the last game, it was actually a game that was led by Barako Bull for majority of of that game until. The Kraken entered. Yeah, uh, for for three quarters, Barako Bull looked really good. But then, the Kraken factor, I mean, I mean literally and figuratively, is a big thing. Only three points in the first half. Para dito kay Jun Marfardo also had some trouble with fouls. And then, in the second half, found his form. Mid-range shot, shot was working. The power move was working. And then, from then on, yun ang naging, yun ang, ang naging mitya para sa buong koponan ng Petron to actually start going better or start getting better because when the middle started to go, the wings started to get themselves going as well. His hairstyle also becoming more and more Kraken-like. <laughs> I think by the commissioners, kapula na siguro yung buhok ni Jun Mar and, and no one would stop him. I wouldn't stop him, uh, that's for sure. Okay, so, nabuhay si Kraken nung second half and then sa pagkabuhay ni Kraken, eh nag-dip naman yung intensity and the energy and the purpose of Barako Bull in game number one. I think you also, when you have a game like this, when you have a series like this, you also have to believe in yourself that you can beat the opposing team. It almost felt that when Barako had that lead it, and then Petron came back strong, they did, weren't able to react to that uh, comeback by Petron. There are veterans on this team on, on the side of, uh, of Barako Bull, but they also need. They also needed a go-to guy at that moment. Nung umahabul na Petron, it seemed like we, they didn't know who was going to be that main guy that was supposed to stop the bleeding. Okay, so uh, you know we we, we tackled Junmar, and then we tackled the veterans of uh, Barakubul. We switched back to Petron, and uh, you know Petron owns one of the best wing combinations there is in the entire league. Meron ka ng uh, Marshall Lasseter, meron ka pang Chris Lutz. They know each other so well, they play well uh, uh, together, and when both click, ang hirap talunin ng Petron. You know, Marshall Lasseter, he's the guy that's going to be knocking down that three-point shot primarily. Chris Lutz, on the other hand, he's the guy that's going to drive, he's going to attack, he's going to dish out assists, and every now and then hit that three-point shot. They work well together, and they work even better when they work with the combination of Arwin, of Junmar, of Junmar and Alex Gabagnot. So, you know, that starting unit, together with those two, one of the starting units in the in the league right now that's the toughest, toughest to defend. Okay, kasama rin natin sa ating coverage team para sa ngayong gabi, si Ms. Riza Diaz. Riza? Miko, kung tatlong quarters nga lang daw ang isang basketball game, napakaraming laro na daw siguro ang naipanalo nila. Ang problema, apat na quarters. At kung kailang patapos na, eh, tsaka daw nagkakandaloko-loko itong Barako Ball Energy Cola. Yan nagiging observation ni Coach Bong Ramos. Ang panawagan niya sa kanyang mga manlalaro, they have to be mentally tough. They have to be poised under pressure. That is the only way for them to survive Petron Blaze at ma-extend nga itong series to Sunday. Samantala, for Coach Gia Banilla naman, ang sabi niya, they're looking to build into the last two quarters of their last game. Yung last two quarters lang, dahil yung first two, eh pwede na daw kalimutan yon. Now, if they want to finish this tonight, ang sabi niya, dapat tayo yung may sense of urgency. Wag nating isipin, we are a game ahead. And instead, tayo ang must win. Nico? Uh, marami salamat, uh, uh, Riza. Well, you know, in terms of mental toughness, I think these two teams have it. Even Barako, but because and dami nilang veterano dun. So mental toughness should, you know, should not be a question for that team. Yes, but, but you know, there's even if you say that mental toughness is not going to be a question, there is still that human element. Na lamang ako, I still have a game in hand. I, I might not, uh, I don't need to actually push right now. But that's something that you have to take away as a coach. And you have leaders in that team that have to preach that, wait, we need that one-day rest. Because um, on the other end, 
you have the team that they're going to be facing. Whoever's going to win them this series, rain or shine, they're already rested. So these guys want to rest as well. Okay, uh, adding to the discussion on leadership, uh, you know, a lot of leadership, a NASA did from the point guards, and you have two of the best here, Alex Kabagnot, almost like a, the perpetual starting point guard of Petron, and has been their starting point guard for many years. Great numbers, in-game number one. Yung katapat niya, kakampi niya dati, backup niya dati. And I noticed that si Denok in that game, eh, mainit si Denok. In a sense that, uh, yung kahit nakipaglokad sa kanya yung mga former teammates sa hindi siya nakikipag he was all business in that game you know for, for guys like Derek Miranda and most of the players of Paracobol they want to prove something because some of them or some of them did come from Petron and hindi mawawala yung yung init o yung gana mo that you want to beat your former team Derek Miranda he played well Alex Cabagnot played very well as well especially for Alex in the second half and you can almost say that for the entire Petron squad that it was the second half na talaga doon sila nabuhay okay let's uh, meet the primary protagonists para sa game number two of this quarter final series and Barako Bull Energy Petron leads the series one game to nothing let's meet the starters first for the Petron Blaze Boosters at guard number five, Alex Kabagnot. At the other guard, number 71, Ronald Tubin. At center, number 22, Junmar Fajardo. At forward, number three, Chris Lutz. And at the other forward, number 29, Arwin Santos. Head coach for the Patron Blaze Boosters is G. Abanilia. And now the starting lineup for Barack Bull Energy. At guard number two, Denok Miranda. At the other guard, number eight, Ron J. Buenafe. At forward, number 12, Mark Eason. And at center, number four, Dorian Pena. Head coach for Barakable Energy is Bong Ramos. Our referees for this game. And your uh, Tadwai Rum starters are on your screen celebrating rum excellence since 1854 in this game. When you're down in a game, you'd expect the game that the team that's training to start hard. So uh, Petron better be aware of a good start by Barako Bull and try to stop that. And Petron uh, gets first possession. Uh, they are in royal blue. Samatalang ang uh, Barako Bull is in immaculate white. Welcome to the opening quarter. Kapag God sets up Arwin Santo. And this is Iban Mark Isip. What was Barako doing right, Jason? Nung pagandam uh, ng performance sila for the first three quarters of game number one. Uh, in, those, in those first three quarters, one of the things that they actually did well was they, they played good defense. After that, you know, if they gave up so many fast break points, they gave away so many turnovers in the second half. Imagine a total of over 40 points in fast break points and turnover points scored by Petron in that game. Napakarami nun. Especially talking about a very potent uh, offensive team with so many weapons as uh, easy fires. You see one of those former Petron players in uh, Barako Bull. Itan Tubir goes right, mounted by uh, Denok. Uh, once again, it's Jumar against Dorian. Fajardo against Peña. Gorgeous shot there by Junmar Fajardo. You know, when, when you look at Junmar Fajardo, you, you first thing that you can see is that But look at his footwork. He was able to carve out some space because of very good footwork. Shot clock uh, down to 12. 2 to nothing game for Petron. JC Tal missing that shot. Kapik from Bola. It's last touch on Kabagno. Look at Junmar Fajardo, it, it, when he pivots inside, he's able to create a little bit of space between him and Dorian Peña. And with his size, that little bit of space is enough to take that shot. Back to back, this is for uh, JC Intan. This PLDT Home BSL TV Philippine Cup is presented by the reliable family size connection of PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Intan sets up Denok. Denok Miranda for three. Yes, sir. Brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Before Denok Miranda became a backup, 
Kid Petron. He was a starter. He was a starter in the champion team with Santa Lucia. And uh, he's just one of those guys that's willing to play what is expected of him from the coach. You know, Denok in Santa Lucia, I think that's when you can really appreciate, you know, what Denok is as a power point guard. Yeah, that's one of the toughest point guard, or guard combinations defensively ever when they had Denok Miranda as well as Ryan Reyes putting pressure on uh, on the, the point guard and the offense. <laughs> <laughs> if you are either an opposing point guard or opposing two guard, for sure. And Arwin and Quartz. Rebound, nakuha ni Ronald Tubitz, goods in for the two-pointer. Petron uh, Lamang, 6-5 in the opening period. Ronjay Buenafe, I'm actually not used to seeing Ronjay at the start of games because it seems like he's more dangerous when he's coming off the bench. But you can, and you can see the importance of this game for, for the Raptors starting off with their most explosive scorer. Good scrambling defense there by Barako Bull. Buenafe for three. In and out. Lux clears the rebound. Second half remaining in the opening quarter. Fajardo. Too good. <laughs> Just too good. Why is it so tough para kay Dorian Peña na kailangan niyang pigilan si Juma? Well, you know, for Dorian, he makes his living out of being stronger than his opponent. Right now, he, Juma Pardo is just as strong or even stronger. Tapos mas palaki pa sa kanya. Saka mas bata. <laughs> Don't forget that. Di ba rin na pero yung sapatos naman ni Dorian pang bata? Ang tagad po yun. O more inch and green the color way. <laughs> The orange and green color with the uh, uh, stripes up. Kaya lang, alam mo, pang, pang Kevin Durant yung sapatos eh. Uh, eh alam mo naman gano'ng kapayat si Kevin Durant, diba? Kung <laughs> baga napa-flat, nakalukaw oh. pa yun. <laughs> Jumar against Dorian Peña. Again, shot clock down to eight. Jumar looks at the shot clock. Twirls and misses. Rebound para kay J.C. Tal. Nagulo dun si Alex Kabagdara in the backcourt, but it's still a three-point lead for Petron. Buenafe with a fake, with a drive, has nowhere to go, it's swallowed up by the Kraken. And that will be a loose ball foul, laban kay Ronje Buenafe. Oh. Out of control there, Ronje Buenafe, getting to that mid middle of the paint, and then you get there. And both Arwin Santos and Jumar Fajardo are there. Best idea? Pass the ball. Hindi pa pass eh. Kato pa ko rin nakapatak sa kanya. Meantime, here's the box up, and here's Lux for three. Sir! Brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Been a bit, bit too much of a help there coming out of that pick and roll on, on, on Barako Bull. Easy pass, easy shot, wide open by Chris Lutz. Now it's a six point advantage for the Petron, 11 5. And we get a half way mark of the opening quarter, and uh, then of Miranda. Uh, throwing that ball away, obvious miscommunication on the part of Carajo. Closing in at the halfway mark of the opening quarter, a smooth move for Chris Lutz. Chris Lutz at this point doing it all, Miko. Kanina nakita natin, hitting that three-point shot. And this time around going inside for the biggest lead of Petron. Mall of Asia Arena, nagbabalik po ang inyong PBA. Sabay na pumasok noong 2005 sa PBA sila Denok Miranda at Alex Cabagnot. Second round, second pick si Alex, third pick naman si Denok. They won championship together. They share a lot of good memories. At ang sabi ni Alex, he never thought of Denok as a backup dahil alam daw niya kung gaano kagaling ito. And now that they're on different teams, asahan daw na natin na parang isa tong chess batch. It will be 90% mental because they know each other very well. Timing will be very Alex, moves against each other. Oh, speaking yeah, of moves, yes. beautiful. Dorian with an up and under, and uh, and I think he wants to come over and say, What are you talking about? Age, what are you talking about? Age, 
there, there is also no substitute for experience. That is just a pretty move on the part of Dorian. Finishing with the right hand. You know, I was talking with uh, Nico Ramos. Eh, si Nico Ramos mahilig sa mga sapatos yan. Uh, we were talking about yung sneakers ni Dorian. Uh -huh. eh, kasi nga, pang, pang Kevin Durant yan eh. And I'm looking at Dorian's shoes, and I feel like it's going to burst any time. Yung tipo naawa ako doon sa sapatos eh. Because as the argument fires and scores, and I'm thinking yung designer nitong sapatos na to did not think of Dorian Peña <laughs> when he designed that shoe. Dapat yun yung mga tipo na ang sasuot si Arwin. Yeah, <laughs> Back to the game, Lamak and Petron, 15-8. As we cross the halfway mark of the opening quarter, be a liver lover with liver a gentleman in capsule. It's liver a lover, boy. Ball will stay with uh, Barakopul. Energy Cola's uh, down by seven points. Kenya against Fajardo. Darian against Kraken. And uh, Newmark clears the rebound. Why does it make sense for Barakobol as Lux spins and loses the ball to go to that matchup as JC loses it? Yung Dorian Peña against Newmark Fajardo. Oh, yeah, he might as well. He might as well <laughs> try, try, to, get, try yeah. to get him out of the, out of the game. Remember, the last time uh, Nagdaru Sila, Junmar picked up a few yeah, fouls, yeah. which led to an, an earlier uh, trip to the bench. Haba yung, ano niya, yung stay on the bench in the first half of yeah. game one. Yeah. Rico Beyerhofer is in the game for the first time. Penelitan si uh, Mark Isip. Still a seven-point lead para sa Petro. And it's almost like we're watching Junmar and Doren go one-on-one -on -one for most of the first half. Less than five minutes remaining to the opening quarter. Meyerhofer loses that ball and duty foul by Dorian Peña. What a difference between seeing Tumar Fajardo, Dorian Peña at the post, that was Rico Meyerhofer versus Arvid Santos at the post. Ano to ba? May weight class ba He could not start the game hoping for That's why they have to call that early time out. Ubit. With that basket, now you have to be concerned for Barajo because no team can afford to go down big to Petron in the opening quarter. Yes, yes. And, you know, they have too many weapons. And at the same time, what Petron is doing is they're trying to take the fight away from Barajo early by getting this, big, this, this uh, sizable lead at the beginning of the game. Seven points of Lamang and Petron as the nearly four-minute mark of the opening period. And they go to Fajardo. This time, on Pantay naman si uh, Mick Pinisi. First personal against Mick Pinisi. You know, 12 combined fouls to Dore Chang Pinisi. That's going to hurt. Okay, time out muna tayo. Lamang and Petron, 17. Inside the Ball of Asia Arena. And we'd like to thank our radio partners, 9.7 Love Radio, 101.1 Yes FM, 96.3 Easy Rock, CCSR 918 Sports Radio with Benji Santiago and the Bombastic Body Passport. <laughs> 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 Scoring. Very difficult for Barakobol. Already sending uh, Marshall to the other side, so he doesn't use that screen. But at the same time, Marshall's still able to hit a difficult shot. So now, nine-point lead for uh, Petron. Vital against Lasseter. JC falling away and scores. I always feel that if ambantay mo si Lasseter, kailangan kiligid ka. You have to be flattered. <laughs> always the elite scorers of the other team. And, and JC has actually been very aggressive to start this game. Has made two baskets and he's been attacking. 
but he should be attacking because he's playing well. And he, you know, he has the confidence as Deno commits his second personal foul. Coach Bong Ramos hoping to steer Barako Bull to a crucial victory tonight to force a third in the deciding game. And the bagu pasok na Energy Colas, rookie Carlo Lastimosa, as well as Willie Miller. Good help defense yes. by Willie actually. Resulting to a Petro turnover. You know, it was good move on the part of uh, Junmar Fajardo. But it's not going help me really because Junmar didn't know that Willie was going to be there. Forces that turnover. Chris Ross also in the game. Uh, para naman sa Petro. As Stimosa is open. But he missed it. Surprised there. It seems that Carla Simosa surprised that he pressed at the wrong time. That's a foul. Laban kay Rico Meyerhofer, which will send Doug Kramer to the free throw line. Uh, I think about Rico. You know, when he gets called for a foul, he doesn't complain, but he has that dumbfounded look. <laughs> Look, no one will beat Danny Siegel when it comes to uh, pleading innocence uh, sa mga foul. Uh, let's go to Riza Diaz who has this report on Marshall Lassiter. Dito to attend his grandmother's wake. Eh, Nagpunta nga na states itong si Marshall. Bumalik ng Tuesday on the same day they played Barako Ball. He admits, para ngayon pa lang siya tinatamaan ng jet lag. Kompleto naman daw ang tulog niya. Walang oras. Ang problema, magdamag daw siyang gising. Nakakatulog siya kapag may araw na. And he hopes dito maka-apekto sa laro niya ngayong gabi. Then again, ang sabi Sabi nga niya sa mga ganitong sitwasyon, it is mind over matter for Marshall Lassiter. You know, speaking of jet lag, really boggles the mind for me to this day. Uh -huh. How do NBA players do it? You know, when they leave it to the back. Yes! By Meyerhofer! Wow! Found an open uh, runway to the, to the basket as Lassiter scores. And going back to Lassiter, yung jet lag there, no? Yeah, I, I, I wonder all the time how the NBA players do it. Legit, legit, legit. Back to back games, pa nga eh. As uh, Lastibosa fires the three. Off oh, the glass. That's a, glass. That is the hardest off the glass shot. Kasi halos corner na eh. First of all, first of all, I don't, I don't know if he called it. No, no, chapay. Three point shot brought to you by PLDT Home. DSL, the number one home broadband. Nobody practices that shot off the glass of a Alus Canto. And Lasseter fires again. Ah! Pippin on the part of Doug Kramer. Hey, you know what? Barako Bull, ah. Hindi nila pinapalayo itong Petron. Good job uh, para sa kanila. Eh. Although, it is an eight-point lead for Petron. And Jensen in the game for the first time. Entry pass for Willie Miller, who wants to post up Ross. Ross, a very good defender. I'm not sure about at the post, but yes, the exactly. perimeter, yes, but at the post, I'm not so sure. Rico Meyerhofer's, I think. YouTube! YouTube! He's the only guy that does that in the league. He's the only guy that does that in the league. Yung mga tinatago lang sa medyo si James Bond. Ayan, no? ayan, no? Oy! Bang, bang! <laughs> At least hindi siya tatawagan ng technical foul. Huh? But that's not taunting kasi and, and balik lang yung baril. And the last time he did that was actually a game against Petron right. as well. Yeah, si, uh, si Mustaha. <laughs> Na-picture mo niya. Meantime, there's Carlo Lastibosa on the move. Lastibosa oh! is fouled and... Uh, you know, I, I I know Carlos' middle name is Confidence is not my weakness. <laughs> you know, in, in his last uh, in the last uh, outing, we played one minute. So right now, he's hoping to get more minutes. He's already surpassed that one minute, and uh, they need some help in terms of scoring. His Barako goal, hoping that Carlos is going to be the, one of those guys that at least will infuse some energy para dito sa kanyang grupo. You know, I, I, if you think about Carlo Lastimosa's game, and as he missed both free throws, when you were with Ron J. Buenafe, they were just dead to force. Look at this. Look at this. Ross fires. No go. A minute remaining in the opening quarter. Good swipe by Chico uh, Lanete. Ball will stay with uh, Petron. Five seconds left in the opening period. 
Cassidy. Inside, Doug Bremer. No. Go, go! Bicep on the shot. Difficult shot as well, having to go to his left hand. Oh, Ross really making it hard for Willie William Miller net, eh? I mean, this, maybe some people do deeper and appreciate your defensive prowess no, ni Chris Ross. I mean, just ask any ball handler in the PBA. And you know, and the reason why he was pressuring him is just to make sure that he doesn't take it to the post right away. <laughs> Miller now posting up Lanete. Three point shot because he's short. Oh, yes. Last touch on Ross. It's actually a good call. Good eyes on the part of the referee. And it's referee Sombrano. 10.7 seconds left. So for Barack Bull, they can write the last sentence of the opening chapter. They're down by seven, however. Miller, Laban Ke Lanete. Miller, Spin, and Paolo Chico. Yeah, Miller is fast and strong and crafty and wise, but that's, that's tough. Oh, it's supposed to be two free throws. It was a fifth team foul earlier. <laughs> okay, so free throws for uh, Willie Miller with four and a half seconds remaining. It was uh, opening quarter. Bear in mind, uh, this is do or die for the Barako Bull. Miller misses both. Nick Penisi can't get the ball. Doug Kramer has it. One second to go. And that ends the opening period. Lamang up Petron, 25-18. And Petron uh, using a hot start. A hot start on their part, courtesy of Junmar Fajardo. Creating some beautiful moves right there. So far, Dorian Peña, hindi nagpapahuli dito. Ah. Actually, in terms of stats, mas maganda pa. UK Dorian Penn. Wisdom before youth. That's what that's the battle cry of Dorian Penn. Lamanga Petron 25-18. Magbabalik po kami.